Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, it seems that a third aircraft carrier is being sent by Washington to the Korean Peninsula. This is the USS Nimitz. It's being deployed by Washington uh, to the Korean Peninsula. And, you know, this doesn't mean, you know, we're going straight to war. I don't want anyone to, you know, lose their head here. I believe what Trump and, uh, you know, Washington, what they're trying to do here is they're trying to send a message, a very strong message to North Korea saying, hey, we have all this firepower around you. You know, stop the missiles, stop your nuclear advancements. And at this point, uh, we're going to have to wait on Pyongyang's, their, their response, because they've stated that they're not going to stop. And right now we've got two aircraft carriers over there. Uh, and, you know, it, it hasn't stopped them since. We put the THAAD system in, uh, and they don't seem to want to back down. You know, Pyongyang, Kim Jong-un, they understand that you know, nuclear weapons is one of their only avenues of, uh, to gain real power uh, for, for the current regime that's in place there. And while I think that this uh, deployment of the th this third uh, U.S. aircraft carrier in the region, the USS Nimitz, is a show of force trying to get uh, Kim Jong-un to come to his senses, I, I think we should also not underestimate this move by Trump. This is the first time in a long time that you know three uh, U.S. aircraft carriers, U.S. aircraft carriers, sorry, uh, were si simultaneously deployed in, in one active region. Uh, and the Korean Peninsula, you know, it's it's a tinderbox. We're, we're waiting for something to occur. Uh, we don't see North Korea backing off from their nuclear ambitions. We don't see the U.S. seeming to, you know, wanting to allow them to do that. Uh, they're, North Korea's main ally, uh, China, is just kind of taking a bad back seat here. They, they, you know, they tell North Korea to stop, but at the same time, they, you know, kind of they're pointing fingers at everybody here. Uh, to everyone to calm down. They don't really like the missile uh, systems that we're putting in place in uh, South Korea and, and what we're going to put in Japan. And honestly, the whole situation is just a quagmire. So I really think that we'll be looking for some sort of false flag event to occur. This is definitely uh, the globalist elitist push for World War III. Uh, and, I, I mean, we're going to have to see how this one plays out, guys. That's uh, honestly all we're going to have to do. Just because the three three fleets like this in, in one region, plus the missile systems we have, plus the troops we have, uh, not to mention, you know, other countries like China, Russia, South Korea, and Japan, the, the forces that they have in the region, you know, all these military assets in such a small area uh, with, with a, you know, crazy guy like Kim Jong-un, uh, basically calling the shots, the next shots. Yeah, it, it, it makes for a very volatile situation. We're gonna we're gonna have to see what Trump Trump does with it. Um, but I believe before he you know thinks of a strike, he's gonna see how North Korea responds to to all these military assets uh, in the area. But guys, as always, as as different developments come out, as the situation unfolds, we will cover it here. We will talk about it here. We will discuss it here. So make sure you guys check back and uh, keep praying, guys.